Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this video is on how the government is taking away your meat. Um, my husband and I know several farmers and we know um, we have small uh, little grocery stores around and we also live within a farming community. So there's crops, vegetables, but there's also cattle. Um, there's chickens and we started noticing we did uh, a video saying you can't grow your own food you know talking about genetic altered food but you also um, are not getting any meat uh, the government is putting so many regulations on cattle farmers or might as well say cattlemen and farmers that raise chickens um, to the point that they can no longer um, have farms and you know cows give milk that's another thing that's another video but anyway the milk video the milk video that'll be another one um, but the meat you know where you get steak ground beef um, you know ribs you know the whole the whole nine yards chicken you know um, any kind of meat, whether it be lamb, it be anything, pork chops, any kind of meat, the government is taking. Well, let me ask you a question. Uh oh, um, here it goes. I like me a good hamburger, you mm -hmm. know, some Angus beef, and I've noticed here in Alabama it's called Hardee's, in California it's called Carl's Jr. Um, whatever you want to call it, the price of that burger, I mean, those are the Arby's too with their roast beef. The price of that of that sandwich with the meat in it has probably doubled in the last few years. But I notice I can go to McDonald's and get a double cheeseburger and fries for two dollars and fifty cents. They haven't really raised the price of the meat at McDonald's, so you know why why is that? Why everybody else go up double and McDonald's stayed the same? If you want to know, number one, the government is putting sanctions on all farmers. The farmers are going out of business. If there are no farmers, grow, I want to say grow, but um, if there are no cows, no chickens, no pigs, nothing, where is the meat coming from? And is it meat? If all the farmers are going out of business, that means the government is controlling the food and producing the food, which means what we think as meat, like McDonald's, double cheeseburger, is not real meat. And I don't know if you've ever noticed that if you went to the grocery store, got some actual ground beef, made, you know, put that, put some, you know, maybe some ranch dress, you know, seasoning and stuff on there, made you a hamburger. You cut into that hamburger. You look at the inside of the, you know, look at the inside of the hamburger. You go to McDonald's, cut into that hamburger, and it doesn't look the same as the meat that you just bought from the grocery store and made your own hamburger. The inside of this so-called meat doesn't look like beef. So basically what it is is the government is giving this genetically modified, altered food to all these fast food restaurants. Because like you said, how can McDonald's have a hamburger for, you know, a dollar or two dollars and fifty cents or whatever the case may be. But you go to some of these so-called finer restaurants like Ruth Chris or... Papa Do's, you know, and you get asked for a steak, you know, and it, you get a, you know, a good piece of meat that comes out, you know, it's pretty thick, looks like, you know, meat. And the thing is, but it costs more. The thing is, is McDonald's meat is not meat. It's from the government. That's why it is so much less in price it's cheaper because it's not real and i don't know if anybody else has noticed the french fries don't taste the same either they don't taste like potatoes 
But anyway, meat is the farmers are going out of business. All the cattlemen, all the farmers with chickens, they're going out of business because all the government regulations and sanctions and you got to feed your cows this. Oh, we're going organic. I'm vegetarian. Well, that's fine. But is it like what Dr. Oz and all those other, other doctors on TV say you need protein? Protein comes from meat. You're not going to get it through a tomato. Sorry. So if we're not getting real meat from a cow, a pig, a chicken, it's altered food which makes me think that that's where some of the cancer is coming from, but that's a whole other subject right there. Anyway, the government is running all the food. The government will jack up the prices on all this food. As soon as all these farmers are out of business, like we said in a video before, where you can't grow your own vegetables, you can't grow your own food, you're going to be standing in a line like back in the 70s, back in the 80s, asking for a block of cheese. And for people out there that are too young to understand about a block of cheese, ask a relative that is at least 40 years old and older about a block of cheese. And trust me, you're going to wish that there were more farmers and you say oh the farmers are feeding all this stuff to cows and chickens and it's not healthy and blah 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 well we used to live in a town called Ferndale California all the cows out there you see them grazing on the grass and they were grass fed cows no other you know no meat byproduct grounded up in some corn, you know, that these little cows would be munching on. It was grass-fed cows. Grass-fed cows. I mean, you can't get any organic than that by eating grass. I ain't talking about pot either. But um, the thing is, we're trying to bring notice. Hey, 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 hey. Guess we'll be going to McDonald's pretty soon. Hmm. Um, the thing is, hey, <laughs> the thing is, we want you to be aware that you're not getting organic food. The government is taking over the food. Um, like we said in a video before, they have a place, it's either Idaho or Iowa, I'm not sure, but it's an underground warehouse full of seeds for plants like tomatoes and cucumbers and whatever else you can think of. So basically we're going back to depend on the government for our food source. We need to be backing these farmers. You know, if you don't agree with what they are feeding these animals, you know, just give them suggestions like they don't know, but say, hey, why don't you just let the cows eat grass? Let them be, you know, full-fledged, grass-fed cows. We actually had a grass-fed hamburger in Ferndale, and it was one of the cows that was out there, and they're milking cows, you know, where you get the milk. Grass-fed cow. Tasted pretty good. So, basically, just trying to let you know that now you're not even getting real meat. Um, the meat is not real. Not sure what it is, but it's not real meat. And I don't care what McDonald's says. If it was real meat, they'd be charging more for their burgers. Anyway. <laughs>